we have got the doll sale of the century here. All dolls. Boxes and boxes of dolls. Oh, we've got more in here. Oh, boy. Hello, everybody. For meeting for the first time, my name is Ford, and I run an estate sale business with my family in St. Louis, Missouri. In this video, we're going to show you just kind of a walkthrough of what it's like setting up for an estate sale, the stuff we find, and all the stuff that we're going to be selling. All right, so let's go take a look around. When you walk in the front door, you are greeted with five large cases of dolls. Most of them are all Madame Alexander dolls. Here we have three more cases full. We are quite overwhelmed here, I will tell you that. Oh my goodness, and this is only scratching the surface of the dolls. Welcome to the puzzle room. How many puzzles do you think are here? Here's room number two full of dolls. Floor to ceiling, most of these are bears. All these are labeled Herman, Mary Thought, Stife. If you notice, some of these pigs are made of minerals. She was like a mineral collector and uh, did a lot of artwork with minerals, rocks. I'll show you guys that in the basement in a little bit. Oh my goodness. This is all Beanie Babies, she said. And then she said this is train stuff. So a little bit of a guy stuff here. That'll be fun to go through. There is a one car garage here. And actually there's not any dolls out here. Not that we found so far. Oh, that is really fun. Here's another. Look, oh, you found amazing. some good stuff. I've never heard of these books before. Me neither. Those fronts. Oh my gosh, those covers are incredible. gorgeous. Yeah. There's a lot of good books here. Gorgeous. She's going to set them up. Nice. This stuff was just out in the garage? Yes. On a war or two, do you want your wife to work after the war? Oh, here you go. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good, oh sister. Okay. So here we have Madhouse. Welcome back, Cotter. Would this be so Archie, might... Superman. Oh, so we got the comic oh, books. Oh, look, Rocky. So there's a lot of comic books. Get us the menace. This is the mineral room and the rock room we have in the basement. Kind of, a, kind of a little bit of a disarray right now, but I'll show you kind of what we're dealing with. Like she had all these animals all sorts of different rocks she made different jewelry with it cut it up a little bit of everything in here got a bunch of supplies look at all these little tiny rocks The daughter said she did a lot of the trade shows, mineral shows around town. Would sell this stuff. I wonder if there's any fool's gold. Oh, this basement is just doll heaven here. Oh my goodness. The room with the Barbies is just unreal. Savvy shopper Barbie. Holiday ball Barbie. I'm excited mostly about the Hallmark ornaments. A lot of them are newer, so there's gonna be some more pop culture stuff in here. I think this is gonna be one of the most popular items at the sale. Look at that. Just look at all those ornaments. Boxes full underneath the table, all over the fireplace. So after consulting Rachel, I think we've decided to start with the Hallmark ornaments. Here's a quick update so far on the ornaments. We're putting them in these flats, but it's taking up a lot of space. Got some Disney ones so far. This is all Barbie. These two tables will probably be all Barbie. As you can see, it looks like we didn't even make a dent yet. I would like to present to you guys the Hallmark Ornament Room. Oh my goodness. Do we have some ornaments here? Seven tables worth. Top and bottom, all underneath, in boxes, all displayed so you can see them. Took me and Rachel about five hours to do this. Yeah. 
here are some of the pop culture ones, you know, Disney, Marvel, DC. Got some Harry Potter up here. The biggest collection is the Barbie. We have two full tables full of Barbie. Any Barbie ornament you would want. Got Star Trek, Star Wars, trains. Look underneath the table. Every single table is full top to bottom. So poor Janora counted all our ornaments. How many do we have, Janora? Approximately 2,319. Oh my god. Wow. It felt like it. it took it's us all day to get them organized. It's a record. You did a good job. I'm glad that project is over because boy, I'm on I'm ready to move on to the Barbies. Speaking of Barbies, what am I gonna do with them? This, this is what we're gonna do with them. We just decided to take the boxes, turn them on their ends, and leave the names on them facing out so you can see what they are. We've already got one table full. We think we found all the Barbies, but there is a lot of boxes of dolls to go through. And I'm thinking the rest of the boxes are all Madame Alexander dolls from what the client was saying. More 1980s Barbies. 14 boxes of Barbies came out of this room, and look, we still have all these left. Here's the problem we're facing, is room. I pulled out most of the boxes out of this small room. As you can see, they're more piled in here now. Set up, but this amount is out of one box. So table space is gonna fill up quick. Here's a quick update. We're starting to get the middle section done. We still have a little bit of the wall left. We are cutting these boxes in half and stacking them all up where you can read their names. It's about as best as we can do. And how we're gonna put all these boxes out, I have no idea. What have you guys been working on up here? Um, Avoiding us in that basement. Okay, um, got puzzles laid out. We got all the railroad train stuff here. But also, this is the most amazing perfume bottle. Wow. It's really cool. It's marbles. Um, this is super cool. And I'm not sure, it's some kind of a, a probably a, a ceremonial piece. These are all the puzzles that weren't open, huh? Yes. We are beginning to see some daylight at the end of the tunnel for the stall room. Oh boy, it's getting close. The pink ones. So what's the plan for the uh, mineral room? The uh... Um, close the door and <laughs> walk away. <laughs> oh no. Um, Chris is, Chris is our gemologist today. Okay. And she's going to become our. Um, okay. uh, Close the door and walk away. Wow, you all are really rocking and rolling. <laughs> Do you get it, Christine? Do you get I it? I get it. And here we have it the finished stall basement. It almost killed me and Rachel. We got it done. It took us about six hours to do. Almost all of them are still in their boxes, but you can just read what names they are. It's still going to be a mess. People are going to dig through these, open them all up. There was just no way to display them all. Almost all of them are Ma Madame Alexander dolls. And then of course we have our Barbies. Here we have the small bedroom off the basement. If you remember, it was just a wall of boxes, floor to ceiling. Now in this room, I did start to open them up to display them, but then quickly realized that we had no room to do this with all the dolls. So yeah, this is the finished doll room. I think pricing is going to be just as difficult as displaying them all. While the girls are working on the mineral room, I've been up here dealing with more bears. Starting to sort them all. We have, I think, six boxes full of Stife bears. Two big boxes of Mary and Thought bears. Not sure where these Stife bears are going to go yet. Man, we've got a lot of Stife bears. I'd say at least a hundred of them. The girls said they're done in the mineral room, so let's go take a look and uh, see for ourselves. Oh wow, yes they did, they finished. Holy moly. Wow, there's a ton here. All sorts of different kind. Some of these are very pretty. We've got our small ones, our big ones. Tables and tables full. At least now we can see them all. 
I gotta figure out a way to price them. Maybe we price them by size. They did a great job. They got her done. So what you ladies work on pricing the stifes? Yeah, and we found out we found two Halloween. This was a hundred this sells for a hundred dollars. Oof. And we had another Halloween that sells for quite a bit more. What'd you put on that one? We put ninety-five dollars on it. Okay. Oh, here's the other Halloween one. Nice. And he sells for about two fifty. Halloween sure is popular. Oh, we have so many sites. Some bears. that play music. I don't even want to count them all. We have the ladies downstairs pricing the Hallmark ornaments. Oh man, slow and steady wins the race. I think we decided to price them half of what they retail value. For, ex for example, this horse sold for 17 bucks. We put $8 on it. Okay, my poor aunt had to count all the dolls at the house. How many do we have, Janora? Uh, I rounded it off at 1400 Wow. Who got it? I think I was the closest. Yeah, yeah, you were. Right. I won. Like Today is the last day of setting up this estate sale, and we saved the front room for last. We're working on pricing all these bears. Some of them are getting quite expensive. This guy right here is $125. That bear is going to end up in our second checkout room. Limited space, but this is where we have the more of the expensive Madame Alexander dolls, the Stife bears, the Mary Thought bears. So yeah, I'm not going to get very many shoppers in this room, but we thought we'd have a second checkout and be able to watch some of the more expensive stuff. I like these vintage Boy Scout um, toys, which I've never seen before. I didn't know they made Boy Scout toys. And these are actually made by Kenner. In the kitchen, we now have some miscellaneous Christmas and some overflow of the Madame Alexander dolls. Garage is looking totally different. A lot of miscellaneous stuff out here, but mostly the opened puzzles. Two bucks each. I think we could send home a puzzle with every shopper this weekend. We are winding down about 12 hours before the estate sale starts, finishing up the rock and mineral room, and we're about done. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking with it and watching it, and I hope to never see a doll again after this weekend. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.